Tomatoes are a popular, healthy part of our diet, at least for most of us. But how could the simple tomato be reason enough for a celebration that attracts over 25,000 people in Nashville? Well, to understand that, you have to get to know the people of East Nashville, their sense of creativity, and obviously their sense of humor. It is only 85 degrees today. But it's a hot day for tomatoes and the annual Tomato Art Fest at East Nashville. The morning parade is as close to a Mardi Gras procession you'll find in Tennessee, where you can strut your tomato stuff and be free to get a little silly. This is what we do. This is what we do over here. You're missing it if you're not here this year. This is where you need to be. Costumes are optional, but part of the fun. Bring up the tomato personality in everyone, whether you're an adult, a child, or even a dog. It's the only time you get to do red and green when it's not Christmas. <laughs> We're a family of tomatoes. I purposely went out and bought the uh, tomato soup and the tomato sauce cans and emptied them out and cleaned them really good, I promise. I didn't want ants following me. It's not a picnic. Did you make your this hot tomato was a center of attraction with a hat only an artist could conceive. This is a hat. It's hand sculpted. Um, Mark Hooper is the sculptor here. I did this past couple of days. It's just I've got a tomato can and some small tomatoes and kind of a graduated variety of tomatoes. <laughs> it's all made in my studio here in East Nashville. I'm trying to balance it, and uh, I'm getting the hang of it, though, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's nice. I feel like a tomato queen. Tomatador. Tomatador. We're the tomatadors. Normally, we are Los Elvadores of the crew of Rolling Elva from New Orleans. We do the running of the bulls in New Orleans every year as, as matadors, so it seemed like a natural step to take it to East Nashville and become the tomatadors. <laughs> It's hard to believe this thing started out as a little art show in 2004. It grew fast and now it's not only a neighborhood event, it's an annual Tennessee attraction honoring the almighty tomato. Give credit to the husband and wife owners of Art and Invention. Okay. Back in 2004, Meg McFadden and husband Brett were just looking for a simple distraction from the dog days of summer. We have the sheet metal building, which is hot in the summertime. I don't care how much you run the air conditioning, it's like being in a little oven. And the idea was what could we do as an art show to get people to want to come in and be kind of miserable and uncomfortable. <laughs> so through this whole series of conversations and events, we decided that tomatoes were probably the best part of summer anyway, and they do love the heat. So we did a tomato art show. And honestly, for no reason I will ever know, about a thousand people showed up at our art show. Living up to its name, the Art Fest invites local artists to bring their works. As long as the subject is the red vine ripened star of the show. How do you come up with new ideas? Just look around. Yes, look around, look on the internet. We tried to put hobbies sometimes or what we liked and didn't like. I mean, I like the beach, so I did a lot of sun and beach stuff with my tomatoes, and Libby likes, you know, the the, the chickens and the flowers, flowers, and vegetables, and vegetables and exactly. Tomatoes. Fine tomatoes. Yeah, she put wings on hers, which are just yes. fabulous. Good. If you need any help, just let me know. You got to check out how Meg has loaded up her gallery for the event. See, so you took a bottle of soup for the art show. I completely empty my gallery of everything else and. Fill it up with tomato art, and it's floor to ceiling. It is $33.87. And it's everything from exquisitely beautiful, beautiful art to just wildly fun and hilarious. And there's paintings, there's sculptures, there's pottery, there's all kinds of stuff. Oh. The festival attractions now range from bobbing for tomatoes. Yay. <laughs> hey, not bad. All right, contestant number two is Bosco. To a fashion show appropriately called faux pas. P-A-W-S. Get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the East Can um, 
um, society. They're putting on a fashion show called Faux Paws, and they're um, like a shelter, and they foster dogs and try to find them homes and make sure that um, every dog has a good place to live. Lindsay's dog knows how to become a crowd favorite. Hey, just crawl into the crowd. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's music from local bands, we have a studio just a couple blocks from here. countless vendors, I like it. I think it's gonna work. including one for all the sanctioned Tomato Fest goodies. So this is the official uh, Tomato Art Fest t-shirt. That's exactly right, and I'm, we're sporting this, this year. This is Tommy Tomato. Tommy Tomato. He's a classic. And he also comes with bumper stickers and what else? Posters, we have tomato fans, fans we have tomato art. magnets, we, we have just about we've got tomato CDs, <laughs> tomato CDs, we've got it all. Wandering around this celebration of all things tomato, I was suddenly consumed by that age-old question. Is the tomato a vegetable or a fruit? I think that's the wonderful thing about it. It's both. I mean, of course, I think uh, officially, technically, don't tell the vegetable world. I do think it's a fruit, officially. But that's why it's wonderful. I think of it as both. Is it my favorite fruit? Is it my favorite vegetable? It's both. That's what's so wonderful about it. It's summer's fruit, but... I don't know, it's, con it's considered a veggie, I guess. I've always called it a vegetable, but it's I, a fruit. It, it's probably a fruit. Oh, we got an argument going. <laughs> <laughs> it's sauce, it could be it's lots of things. It's sauce, it's after you cook it, it's it's very paintable. Oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> tomato, tomato, whatever it is, in hip, creative East Nashville, it's reason enough for a party. All these people are happy, they're having a great time. They're in costumes, and you know, I think adults as a whole are just really ready to play, and this gives them an opportunity to just be freewheeling <laughs> with no holds barred.